Hello, this is Top Stories on VR Television. I am Deborah Andrew President Bola Tinubu returned to Abuja evening after a two-day official visit to Bissau, the capital of Guinea-Bissau, for the 63rd ordinary session of the Authority of Heads of States and Government of the Economic Community of West African States. President Tinubu arrived at the presidential wing of the Nandi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, around 6.30 p.m. aboard the NAF 001 Boeing 737 jet. While in Bissau, the president was unanimously named the new chairman of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of ECOWAS. Now, former President Olusegun Obasanjo lamented that most of the people who are, are supposed to operationalize the Nigerian constitution are the ones undermining the country's democracy. According to Obasanjo, an example of constitutional abuse is a situation where members of the National Assembly fix their own salaries. The ex-president spoke in Adoikiti, the Ekiti state capital, at a public lecture organized as part of activities marking the 60th anniversary of the call to bar of the legal luminary and founder of Afe Babalola University, Adoikiti, Are Afe Babalola. While urging political leaders to put the interests of citizens ahead in all decisions, the ex-president pointed out that democracy doesn't mean anything to a man who is hungry, whose life is in danger, or whose property is being destroyed, he said. And the governor of Niger State, Mohamed Omar Bago, has terminated the appointment of all political office holders appointed before May 29, 2023. According to a statement issued by the Secretary to the State Government, Ahaji Abubakar Usman, Governor Bago ordered the dissolution and termination of the appointments with immediate effect. The Governor also dissolved all statutory commissions, boards and parastatals in the state. The Governor wished the affected members of the dissolved commissions, boards and parastatals and political appointees success in their future endeavors. And Governor Rotimi Akiridolu of Ondo State has extended his one-month medical leave indefinitely. The notice of extension was contained in a letter to the Ondo State House of Assembly. Recall that Akiridolu had earlier informed the lawmakers of proceedings on medical leave on June 5, 2023 and was expected to resume on July 6, 2023. The Speaker of Ondo State House of Assembly, Honorable Olamide Oladiji, confirmed the extension of the governor's leave in a short term issued by issued to newsmen in Akure. Oladiji said Mr. Kiridulu extended his leave following his doctor's advice on the need to take adequate rest after recuperating. Now, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Matthew Kuka, has said Nigerians experienced the worst type of corruption during the administration of President Muhammad Buhari than any other before him. Kuka, who spoke during an event in Ekiti State, said that even though corruption did not start during Buhari's tenure, it was amplified morally, financially, and in other terms in the last administration. He said that a lot of Nigerians have lost faith in the judiciary, but added that he considers the judiciary a victim the same way every other institution in Nigeria is suffering a crisis. The bishop said it is time to rebuild the country, adding that no matter what happens at the Supreme Court concerning the election, he's convinced that Nigerians have put its ugly past behind them. Still on top stories, the Acting Controller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Adewale Adeni, vowed a heavy clampdown on oil thieves, insisting that the nation cannot afford to let saboteurs take over our economy. Adeni, who said there were still cases of smuggling of premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol, at Nigeria's border stations, despite the removal of subsidy on the commodity, said the agency had adopted new border patrol strategies to close in on oil thieves. He made a disclosure on the sidelines of a sensitization workshop on the Nigerian Customs Service Act 2023 for management staff of the NC NCS in Abuja. And that's all on Top Stories. Many thanks for watching. I am Deborah Ndukaife. Please stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.
Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? <laughs> I'm at the Envoy Hotel Diplomatic Drive 305 here for a business weekend. It's been an amazing stay. Conference hall and business facilities here are stylish and innovative. The Envoy Hotel is luxury, esoteric, opulence, for ultimate comfort. Yeah. 